Retail X is three trade shows, Global Shop, Internet Retailer Conference and Exhibition, IRCE, and RFID Journal Live Retail. These three trade shows are co-locating in 2019, but they're retaining their separate identities, including separate registration, separate conference programming, and separate websites, which will continue to serve their markets independently. Attendees of the Retail X Exposition will be able to access all three trade shows presented side by side in the 400,000 square foot McCormick Place South. In other words, Global Shop is still Global Shop and will be readily and easily identified to both legacy exhibitors and attendees alike. It'll be Global Shop, only better. Exactly how is that and how does that relate to me as an exhibitor? What does e-commerce have to do with me? First, the majority of brick and mortar retail chains that attend Global Shop are also e-commerce retailers. In fact, of the top 1,000 online retailers, brick and mortar retail chains generate a whopping 30% of e-commerce. Add the 16.8% share that consumer product companies generate, and Global Shop's existing core audience generates more e-commerce than pure play e-commerce companies. Over the last two years, the retail landscape has changed drastically. Entire innovation teams, which typically include store design and merchandising, are driving historic transformation. The outcome of this evolving retail model creates great opportunity for global shop exhibitors. Let's take Target as an example. In 2014, their e-commerce business was struggling and wasn't benefiting their physical space. Store performance was flat. To create a more dynamic experience, Target shifted significant resources to their e-commerce business. By acquiring Shipt, which enables same-day delivery, they finished their strategy to leverage stores to support and benefit e-commerce. On top of that, they deployed a chain-wide RFID solution. With this evolved model, in 2017, Target aggressively undertook the largest store renovation program in their history, a $7 billion program, which is creating unprecedented positive impact for store design and merchandising providers. Like Target, leading retail chains are shaping strategy to boost both their e-commerce and brick and mortar business. They're transitioning physical store formats and functions by focusing on several key areas of investment. Innovations like buy online, pick up in store, Opus, which is entering its second generation, become a spotlight rather than an afterthought. Bopis is moving away from customer service and return areas into its own space, as retailers look to make Bopis simpler, easier, and faster. At the same time, self-checkout and cashier free point-of-sale systems mean the large-scale front-end remodels and modifications will be an area of increasing demand. As new store formats roll out to support new business models, many retailers are looking to elevate shopper experiences by addressing the new format and entire store renovations. And as more retailers look to compete with same-day, one-day, and two-day shipping, entire store sections are renovated for distribution and shipping purposes. On top of that, curbside pickup, drive-up lanes, the need for specialty carts and fixtures, signage, graphics, and increased wayfinding are all needed. This is exciting news for global shop exhibitors because it creates opportunities for chain-wide construction and remodeling driven by brick-and-mortar retail e-commerce. The co-location of IRCE with its e-commerce strength means that retail companies that attend Global Shop will send more personnel teams, which will more easily see the big picture of today's hybrid retail business and will likely work side-by-side -side not only at headquarters, but also on the floor at Retail X. So it's an opportunity for global shop exhibitors to be discovered as solutions for e-commerce companies looking to build physical stores. A significant trend. Retail X creates a space for global shop exhibitors to collaborate with hundreds of retail e-commerce retailers, including retailers which are planning to build retail stores like Bonobos, Warby Parker, Indochino, Everlane, Amazon, Fabletics, and Rent the Runway. RFID Journal Live Retail's fit within Retail X is a bit more difficult to see on the surface, but the technology adoption is explosive. RFID tags on retail items have grown 300% since 2014 to a staggering 7 billion tags in 2017. 
You might say, that's nice, but what does that have to do with me? Well, most US apparel is already source tagged with RFID, and large-scale retailers have identified RFID as an essential strategy to their evolving business models. In Europe, which is ahead of the US in RFID use, not only is merchandise tagged with RFID, but so are displays, mannequins, and fixtures. This enables real-time planogram and merchandising optimization. Additionally, for makers of point-of-purchase displays, RFID tags enable compliance verification and sales tracking. In summary, RetailX results in Global Shop still being the Global Shop you know, only better. Better investment in today and tomorrow's retail world, and a better experience for Global Shop's retail attendees as they further develop their physical and digital platforms.